Hello, Gemini. I am here to do your May monthly reading. Let's see what's going on for my Gemini. Let me adjust that camera. Um, for the month of May, I am, can't believe I'm already doing May's monthly readings. Where has the time gone? Let's get into it and see what's going on for my Gemini. Um, between you and another person, the song that I got on shuffle was Supernatural by Eluna George. So, um, Supernatural. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the song really, but I know what she's saying. She's like, she's met somebody that she has this supernatural connection with. So you guys might be meeting somebody that, or have this supernatural connection that's developing in the month of May. Sounds like fun, right, Gemini? All right, let's see what the overall energy between you and another person is. Strength card in reverse. Could you be dealing with a Leo? Let's get a clarifier for that, for why the strength card's in reverse. Could be that this love has you feeling weak. I don't know. The hangman. Okay, um, perhaps not. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You might be taking a rest period to try and regain your strength. Uh, deciding what to do, like trying to... You might be looking into supernatural stuff. You might be trying to delve into that spiritual side of yourself to see kind of what you need to do to move forward to build up your inner strength. I feel like there is a huge focus. If this isn't you, this is the person you're dealing with. Let's get into the individual cards here to see if we can't see a little bit cool, more clearly. We got the moon in reverse. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, Nine of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is you. Trying to come to enlightenment, trying to come to enlightenment about what it is that you want. Somebody could have crossed your path that is unexpected and not what you normally want out of relationships, but you have this weird feeling like there is like a strong connection here that you do want to move forward, um, but this person might differ from what you're used to. And that's what's causing you to have to reevaluate, like, what is it that I really want? Because maybe what I wanted before wasn't really what I wanted. Ooh, eight of wands. So, fast movement towards someone. You might be going on a trip or something, Gemini, making a decision. Here with the justice, I feel like you are moving forward on something, but you haven't made that decision yet. You want to, but you're still in this kind of deciding period or somebody, this could be somebody versus you. But for right now, I'm really just picking up on your energy because I feel like it is a lot about you this month, figuring out what you want. I feel like that person is there for you. This person's waiting for you, I feel like. And you've just got to figure all this shite out, you know? You know what I'm saying? You got to make a decision here with the two of wands. Um, you could have just come out of a relationship and then this person comes into your life and you're kind of like, this is, this is too soon. This is so different from what I'm used to. And you're trying to, you have this strong connection towards them, but you're trying not to make any rash decisions, even though you want to, because you're like, I just came out of something. Some of you guys could have been come out of a marriage um, or like a really serious commitment, somebody who you thought you were going to marry. And you're kind of like, there's this person who's come along that you feel this strong connection to, but you're like, do I move quickly on this? Because is this even something that I want? It's so completely different from what you're used to from the past that it's kind of making you rethink like everything, everything, everything you've known before. But I do feel like this is a strongly spiritual connection. So this person's kind of just waiting for you to make a decision. There's a lot of delays here. You're kind of having to find a bit of balance. Um, yeah, here with the Hermit. So we've got the Hermit, the, can the Cancer card, the Chariot. We've got the Libra card. Um, this person is kind of just by, like, they're just doing them while you're, while you're figuring your your stuff out. There needs to be a releasage of, is that even a word, releasage? <laughs> there needs to be a release of the past on your part. 
You need to release whatever expectations you had for the past and kind of focus on the future. There, the Five of Cups is here. So it's like, instead of looking towards like the cups that are spilled, you need to look towards, um, towards the future. Uh, we got two fives here. So big change, big change, big transformation in your life. And it feels like a lot of it has to do with this person coming into your life so quickly. Um, part of you wants to move fast for it, but your logic is kind of taking over right now in the sense of like, should I even move this quickly? Is this even something that's I should be moving towards? I just get the strong feeling that this person is like waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They have no conflict with you. Like they're trying to just make it a safe space, give you your space. This person has already this feeling like you are a the person they are going to have a relationship with you they have full trust in the universe they see that you need to figure stuff out so they're giving you a safe space i like that energy i just saw 555 so lots of changes for you gemini uh may is going to be a big change month for you i feel like you're going to end up moving towards this person because this person is so safe this person is really making a point to show you the space that they've created with you and like I honestly love that energy because it's like this person is really and this could be your towards that person this could be vice versa but I really feel like this is you kind of waiting to see like is this something I need to move forward on I feel this strong connection but I just don't know because I just got out of another situation um, that wasn't very healthy for me. This is going to be like a 180. Like this person is so different from anybody you've ever dated in the past. And that's what's weird. It's like, am I just going for this person because they're the opposite? Or like, do I really feel this connection? And um, I think that's what you're delving into. I think this is a connection. If that's what you're looking to find out, is this like a real connection? Is this a real thing? I do think this is the real deal. This person's very mature. I feel like maybe in the past you weren't with mature people who really gave you the space to be you. You're like, okay, what's the catch? Like, when does the crazy come out? This person allows you to be like who it is that you are. And I feel like as nice as that is, part of it freaks you out a little bit. Because you know, you're like, oh shit, I don't think I've ever felt this way about somebody. And remember, these can be vice versa. So if you're wondering about this person, this is the energy they're going through. I really don't get double energies here because I feel like the other person is just waiting. Waiting. But they're not waiting and like twiddling their thumbs. Like they're just doing them and creating this space for you. Like, yeah, you figure it out. I'll be here. Energetically. Physically, they might not be there, but energetically, they're waiting for you to come towards them. So that's what I'm seeing. And the extent I'm going to be doing um, messages from this person, actions this person is going to take, advice from your spirit guides, as well as um, what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box. Make sure you scroll down to the bottom and make sure you get May. So, um... If you're interested in that, I will see you guys there. Bye.